Hello, my beautiful beings. The moon is in Gemini, so we're going to do a, hey, what's that? It's happening already, but that's why he was yelling at me. <laughs> the moon is in Gemini, okay? The moon is waning in Gemini. It's even better. So we're just going to do your next uh, 48 hours with this moon being in Gemini. I feel like some, um, whoever this reading is for, I feel like maybe you just kind of been feeling like the need to isolate yourself from the outside world, really just kind of connect to your intuition, connect to your um, emotions. Maybe you've been kind of feeling tired, um, maybe even a little insecure. You guys, it really depends on like what transits you're happening are are happening personal transits um maybe somebody here is releasing a lot of insecurity about the direction and sense of life honey listen <laughs> not the ace of pentacles and the eight of wands we're gonna get to the money you guys um i feel like maybe someone here your schedule is packed or it's like you're trying to um trying to pack is significant trying to pack your schedule and i say that because i feel like you need to fill your cup, your calendar, your life with things that you want. Um, because I feel like there's 111. Um, I feel like there's been a lot of unexpected competition that you've been dealing with here. And it's like, not really, I don't know, maybe someone here has been dealing with some type of burnout, headaches, like inflammation, like your body just feeling off and being wonky. Maybe there's been some family issues that's been arising. Um, collective where you're like making decisions based off your emotions and not making decisions based off what like kind of financially makes sense and logically makes sense. Um, I also feel like you guys ugh, deepening your relationship with your children, um, a lot of healing, devoting your time to them, having fun with them. It's, I feel like it's a good time for you to return to school or retraining for another um, profession or take advantage of learning opportunities. I feel like somebody here, like, <laughs> if you can't pay for the, the certificate or the, the course, buy the book. Oh, yeah. Somebody wants you to ask them for something, or someone is getting ready to ask you, or they feel like you have... Um, Somebody thinks you're sitting on like stashes of money. I don't know who that's for, um, but I feel like what you are just kind of like conjuring or funneling up in a sense is just kind of like everyday stuff. Like this could be a new project, like new job, new business. It's just a lot of sudden changes in your material fortune in the next 48 hours. But then also I just feel like a not... Um, I just feel like just a sudden change of just events, the beginning of creation. I feel like someone here, maybe you're even dissatisfied with your material circumstances. Maybe this is a pay raise, a loan, a business offer. I feel like things have been falling through unexpectedly without any explanation. So this is why you have this eight of wands here for this moon and Gemini transit, because now it's falling into place expectedly or unexpectedly, or maybe it's going to be a surprise. It might be a surprise. I don't know. Sometimes the spirits like to surprise us. However, but I feel like there's something very swift about your movements collective. I feel like there's something very swift about your realizations, a lot of brain activity. So maybe someone here, left brain, right brain syncing up, or it's just like, I also feel like someone here, there's problems that I feel like maybe, I don't feel like you're ignoring your problems. If you're here watching this reading, I feel like sometimes people try to look for problems and bring them to you. For instance, y'all, I don't care how many times I tell, <laughs> I don't care how many times I tell people, I don't watch the news. I study and bring the news to me. I don't watch the news. I read the news. I like to read. I'm, you know, probably Listen, once I get out of this reality, you guys, um, I might, you know, get a newspaper again. I just like to read, right? 404. I feel like reading um, connects you to certain access points or energy points across the map. Um, Georgia may be significant for somebody here. Be laser focused. I feel like you're laser focused with what you want and it's going to manifest. Like resources are going to start aligning. I feel like the more that you're removing distractions or maybe like just kind of like negative energy that's being thrown, it's a whole lot of negative energy being thrown at your career and your money, honey. And I don't feel like it's just because like, you know, it's going to be falling out like expeditiously. I feel like it's happening because you're finally making headway on what you want, like what blessings you want. The moon in Gemini, uh, I know it's not going to be in Gemini forever, but when the moon is in a mutable sign, it's very 
very important to pay attention to how what you're thinking and or feeling is fluctuating. Mm. Yeah. Okay. A lot of ideas, progression, changes, clear intentions. I feel like maybe some of you guys are thinking about love, okay? Because we do have the Ten of Cups coming out. And that is one of my, you know, feel good, lovey cards. Um, I feel like you're being more open and self-confident within your relationships, your uh, within your relationship, your union, your marriage. Also, I feel like maybe somebody's job is causing problems in your relationship or marriage, but um I, I feel like it's causing problems because y'all just supposed to be making more money than what y'all making. <laughs> and I feel like that a lot of that just has to do with like, you know, like what y'all know, like your skills, like your, um, how you're putting your, um, intellect towards something. I never really kind of looked at the diamond suit as intellect, but you know, it's different, different day. Um, this could be your electricity, your energy, your written communication, higher education. Maybe some of you guys have pursued that or your psychic energy. I just feel like just, yeah, y'all supposed to be making way more money than you're making. Um, I feel like there's actually people satisfied with the fact that you're not making enough. So this moon in Gemini is a beautiful time to just affirm that you're filthy rich. It's just like, you just like, you're overwhelmed with money overwhelmed with money, overwhelmed with love, overwhelmed with intentions, right? Okay. So for some of you guys here in terms of love, we do see that intention setting energy over here. Um, uh, maybe an engagement ring, a deep, deep love confession. Oh, this is a deep one. <laughs> the ace of pentacles and the 10 of cups. That's a deep love connection. Um, connection and confession, but then also it feels like a deep renewal of love not just romantically, but just yourself. I feel like someone you're falling in love with yourself more and more, especially more and more you're up against the six of pentacles and eight of pentacles energy. Cause like I said, it just feels like somebody wants you to have their hand out. Like they, I, you know, th this is wild to me. It's like somebody is like praying or hoping that it's like they wish you well in your face, but really they don't want you to stand on your own two feet because once it may have, it must have been events that you've recently become aware to or things that's been happening in this present reality you're in. Cause it's like, once you gain your momentum and stand on your own two feet, like they know that you're skeet, like you're off, you're out of here. So this could be a toxic relationship. This could be a toxic job. This could be a toxic family or relatives or, you know, whoever you're connecting with on a day-to-day -day basis. But I see you recovering your peace. I definitely see you recovering your time and your success. I feel like you're entering a very harmonious time, like you're leaving behind this crisis as this moon in Gemini transits out. Um, I feel like be mindful of where you're offering up your time, your energy, and love. And so, okay, and so, a lot of just everyday life stuff here. So, like, I feel like you, some, maybe someone wants to know, like, how you come out of a crisis. Just look at what's happening in your day to day. I feel like you can't really force anybody to pay money that's owed to you, but I also feel like your ancestors got it on lock. <laughs> Be open to success. Be open to love, collective, okay? I feel like some of y'all ancestors is like, oh, Yes, be open to love. There's a lot of mutual feelings, okay, between you and your person, your lover. Oh, wow. I just like new opportunities, like a new life, like new memories, new memories. Less. Oh, Maybe someone's fighting for their marriage or fighting for a marriage to come into fruition. Like you just kind of like know it's supposed to be that way, but it ain't that way. Well, why isn't it isn't that way? Like I feel like someone, this moon in Gemini transit will make that clear. I feel like there's just a lot of tricky energies that someone's trying to interpret or someone's trying to evaluate and decide whether you will stick by this person. But here with the Hierophant and the Fool, you ain't going nowhere. Period, Pooh. You ain't going well. So. <laughs> they ain't going away either. Listen, what they feel for you ain't. Look at what we got here. They know that you're home, but they keep that to themselves. I don't think they tell you that. 
So that could be, you know, moon and Gemini. Y'all stuff stay coming to the surface when the moon is in Gemini. I love when the moon is in Gemini. I may be biased. My moon is in the third house. So this is also important to see where Gemini third house is in your chart. If you don't have Gemini third house, you have Sagittarius ninth house. You got one of them. Um, and it's important to know where that is because that's where when these moon transits are happening, it's important to know where it is in your chart because that's where you're seeing things move. So I know for me, it's all about my magic. It's all about my, it's all about third house things, my communication. Um, I mean, depending on how much I'm in the energy of the seven of wands, which is fighting, I could you know, harness second house things, fourth house, fourth house things. So focusing on your material possessions, your communication, your magic, but also your roots, your family. It's, yeah, it's deep. It's levels to this. I don't even really think it's levels. It's just, it's, it's a whole. And if you like fall down it, you're either going to find things that are valuable for you, or you're going to find things that help you understand what other people deem valuable about you that may, you may not know yourself. So Telly ho, but we do have the King of Cups and the Four of Wands out here. So a lot of communication energy coming out, but then also just kind of like a lot of discussion. I feel like maybe someone is avoiding a conversation with you collective because they feel like it's going to turn into a disagreement. But I also just kind of feel like you're just waiting on that special someone to be like, hey, you know, I love you. I miss you. Like, I feel like the people who interesting. Oh, wow. Are we talking about this today? Yeah, let's get it out. It needs to come out. And this is a perfect reading for it to come out. I feel like there are women, if you are a woman watching this, specifically for women, and if you know, you know, okay? I ain't got to pull no other cards to tell you. I feel like there are women that are sexually confused um, or they just don't want to admit what they really want. That try to hold on to you, hold on to your energy because they don't know why they lust or feel the way they feel about you. I feel like this affects your love manifestations just a little, not a lot, but I feel like because we're bringing it to the surface, then that's transmuting out and then things are going to be um, less bumpy. But if anybody here has been doing any type of affirmations for like specific person, desired person, manifesting love, union, marriage. It's not that it's not in the cards for you. It is with a higher thing here. It's just that so many people want you. It's like, it, it's kind of like you, you know how they have like in the movies, like, or like SWAT, you know, they kind of looking for who they want to capture, right? But it's all these large crowds and they're trying to get through the crowds. And, and you know, imagine like a crowd that's not moving. Like you got to kind of push them out the way. That's what I see the seven of wands energy is. Um, or this could be your person or it could be a lot of people that want your person or it could be a lot of people that want both of y'all. And I feel like someone here like some like um, you, your gift is like a radio. So even if you're not thinking about something, you can tune into a frequency where your spirit squad is like, we want you to hear this. So we want you to decipher if it's yours or not. Also, I feel like some of you guys here have like spirit squad that like taught, like they be like, it's like two groups of something kind of like talking about you or talking about things that you need to do or don't want to do. Like, and I feel like somebody here, it's not that you cannot appease right? Like well, who you're working with or who's guiding you. Cause some people make it seem like, oh, well, you only have to work with these spirits because why are you working with? Yeah. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Anywho, I'll be quiet. Anywho. It's like, you're not in a space where you can level it out or balance it out because of your environment or because you look, I look at this eight of cups is like, you've walked away from eight people significantly or eight narratives or eight timelines, eight chapters, eight ideas, eight, just eight, or it could be 16, or it can be, you, it could be double. It could be a lot. Um, or the last eight years could just have been a significantly, um, emotional, spiritual transformation for you. But I feel like what, what you are okay with leaving behind isn't okay with leaving you behind. So 
I feel like you've been battling a lot of delusions and frustrations at the same time. So now it's time to kind of like <laughs> leave the past behind yet again, because the past will always try to creep into your present and future moments, especially when you understand that the past, present and future exists all at the same time. So I feel like if you're feeling trapped by life, like now it's time with this moon and Gemini transit, start making profound differences um, in terms of what you know is affecting you. If you know talking to certain people keeps a certain cord open to your past, don't talk to them. Plain and simple. If you know, like, okay, I'm on another spiritual mission that's bringing me temporary success, but I know, like, this makes me unhappy, then utilize that to your benefit. Someone's a cleaner. Something about a cleaner. Like, I feel like you are called to the scene when things need to be cleaned up. That's a very stressful gift. That's a very stressful gift, you guys. It's like you bring the energy of the fool to various situations. And it's stressful because if you feel and know that, then other people around you feel and know that. Create a budget, okay? Read a song is unlocking your master's degree in uh, elevation or promotion in your career. Corporate King Baddie is just how I'm looking at that today. Split the bill, write a check, save your receipts and sales pouring in, okay, to fund your luxurious lifestyle. Just a friendly reminder. A lot of people on the internet talking, y'all, has not been through their Saturn return. So Saturn is. He's just as messy as Pluto. Power couple manifesting money for love, divine union. We have fast investments, crypto day trading, like the Midas touch. You have it. Everything you touch turns to gold. I feel like people try to touch you. Like, oh, so my goodness. Like, just ward it off. Return, return, return. Don't give up on your education, okay? Clients are flocking in now. Fresh generation college student, 1717, successful entrepreneur in your family. This was a beautiful moon in Gemini reading. I feel like it was very rich, very rich with like information. Mm, all right. I love you guys. Hopefully, uh, cause child is in my ear. Moon in Gemini, moon in Gemini, moon in Gemini. There, we have it. Moon in Gemini reading. Next 48 hours. Bye.